Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are apartment hunting, or I guess reviewing the apartments that I hunted to find the perfect apartment for my senior year of college. So all of these apartments are based in Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, downtown area as I go to Western Michigan University. Um, I today am sharing 11 out of the 22 apartments that I saw. I was very, very picky. I also wanted to make sure I was getting the best amount for what I was paying per month as I support myself. And at the end of the video, I will let you know which apartment I end up choosing. I have my iPad right here with all of my notes for each apartment that I can share with you just so I stay on track. So apartment one, I really, really like this one. I thought it was going to be the one that I was going to get. I walked in and I was like, mm, this has potential. However, cabinet colors were a little weird. Um, the yellow and blue was not screaming to me, but again, I was looking for more space and the best for the money that I was going to be paying. So this unit was listed at $7.90 a month, which it was probably five minute walk to downtown. So it's fair for that price, I would say. Um, the bedroom was small. So these rooms, both of them had doors on them, but one was supposed to be your living room and one was your bedroom. And I personally like hardwood in my bedroom. So I would have had to take the living room as my bedroom and then have a super, super tiny living room, but it was worth it to me. Um, it was on, it had two different levels. So kitchen was bottom floor and then you would take the stairs to go up to your living space. Uh, and then the bathroom was also, it didn't match whatsoever. Uh, there was like pink tile and the shower they just had redone um, and it was not matching. But again, I thought that this one was going to be the one I ended up with and I am so glad that it's not true. So moving on to number two, uh, way too small. Uh, bathroom was a little funny looking. I just didn't like that it was, it was super, super boxy. So apartment two, it was only I think $600 a month, but it was a square smaller than my square and there's no room for a couch or a chair. I would have had to do it like they showed in the video and I just didn't like that. Kitchen was a bit bigger, but I didn't like brown cabinets. Yes, this is a rental space, but I still have to like it, so brown cabinets. Apartment three, I said, again, just too small for the price that they were offering. Uh, bathroom was super, super tiny. I mean, like, tiny. And then kitchen didn't bring any joy to me. It was just very closed in and again brown cabinets were not it for me and then i believe that the price of this one was 650. apartment four uh, it had a really cool walk-in spot you opened a door and you would automatically uh, be hit with a closet a coat rack and then you were taken upstairs your own private stairs to get up to the living space so nothing was down there besides a walk-in area but I still kind of liked it. But I was thinking for moving wise, I'm only going to be here for a year and then I'm leaving again. Uh, lots of storage for the size of the apartment. I do believe this one was 700 though, although it was a studio. I did like the kitchen. Kitchen was nice, uh, but it was little. Lots of sunlight, but wanted a bigger and better layout. The bathroom was nice as well. But with the way that it was set up, there was really only one way to put it. Uh, and again, it's not giving me that much more space and it's way weird layout. If I'm gonna do a studio, I wanted it to just be all open in one spot. Then apartment five had a on deck, like a deck up to the apartment. You had your own little space up there with stairs. Um, very elongated. Uh, the size was nice because of that. Uh, this one was 790 square feet for, I believe it was 720, but don't quote me on that. And then vibes were just off. And then when I was taking the video, I we realized there was a weird room under the stairs. It wasn't like a Harry Potter cute little weird room. Like, no, it looked like that's where you murdered someone. So I said no automatically after that. Um, but it was technically a two bedroom but the living room area would be too small, so I would have to make a little office area and uh, take one of those bedrooms for a living room. And then as the people had it laid out in there is exactly what I would have done too with it. So apartment six layout was extremely weird and super boxy. Uh, I also did not like the sunlight that was coming in and then there was a weird little, um, 
connecting extra room to the bedroom. The carpet was ugly. It just wasn't screaming at me. It wasn't something I loved. And I believe this one was like 745 and it was only like 500 something square feet or 400. It was not very big at all. So we moved on. Um, apartment seven, kitchen was huge, but living space was small. Uh, sunlight was nice, no closet. So I would have had to build something which also I plan on doing in my new apartment, but not like this. So, um, the again, the stand and shower, it also had that, which I hated, um, but may have chose this one if, it, if I wanted to get another studio. However, um, like I said, the sunlight was great, but in the shape of it, but there was no room for a living space. Um, and in this year, I really hope to have more people over and be in a welcoming spot rather than a smaller studio or something like that so I can have my friends around more. Then moving on to apartment eight. Uh, this one was super cute, but I think it was more so just how the girl who lives there currently designed it. Um, but it, it was just too small. It was smaller than what I have now. So what I was looking for, I actually do live right next door to that apartment currently. Um, so, and I love, love my neighborhood, but it wasn't going to work for what I was wanting. This one was, uh, 250 square feet for $630. And I said, no, it's just the location for that place. Apartment nine, uh, the apartment was nice overall, just recently renovated, but again, too small and super boxy. There wouldn't have been room for a couch and a bed in the same area. Again, this year, I want to invite my friends over more, have a good hangout space, and that just wasn't doing it for me. Um, also, with all of these apartments, none of them have in-unit laundry nor dishwasher, and a lot of them have carpet, which I do not personally like. Apartment 10, um, when I walked into the apartment, I loved it. Uh, it was close to downtown. Bathroom was super spacious, but also did have like weird steps into it. Uh, tub was not screaming my name. Uh, it just looked a little funny, but I moved on. Um, I really liked the hardwood and industrial lighting that it had. Uh, and it also came with a dishwasher, which I hate doing dishes, so I love that. Um, however, the living room and bedroom situation was a little weird. If I was to choose this one, I would flip the living room and the bedroom so the living room would be in the carpeted room. I wish the carpet wasn't there, but unfortunately it is. Lots of space for the price. So this one was 870 square feet for 775 a month. And going on to apartment 11, I said extremely weird layout. Bathroom was connected to what looked like an attic bedroom. Super small, like the walls were on the sides. Uh, lighting was very yellow and dark. Was not screaming to me. So um, last thing I put, price wasn't price wasn't worth the location as well. It's kind of on a shadier part of Kalamazoo. And if it was something I would have loved, I wouldn't have really cared. But SD card in my camera ran out of storage, so I had to switch cards. But the apartment that I decided to go with was apartment 10. I don't move in till July, but there will be move-in vlogs. And I am so excited to decorate it. And at the end of the day, it had almost everything that I asked for. So... Yes, I am very excited to move in. I will be back with you guys in a couple months to bring you on this new journey of my new apartment.